Okay guys, what we have here, we've got our work cut out for us. All I'm gonna try to do, the plan is to get the power supply out. It is not working, it is dead. I gotta get this guy a new power supply. I'm just gonna go with a better power supply than what he's got. I'm gonna future proof him a little bit. Of course, make the sale and get him a clean computer as well. At the same time, I'm gonna kind of detail a little bit because he wants to keep it in the family. He's had it a long time. I care about gaming computers. I'm a gamer myself. I love streaming as well. We were going to go with an 850 gold watt. He had a bronze label, a gold fully modular. It gives you a little more flexibility, future proof, like I said, if you wanted to go with a bigger graphics card, for example. So we're going to get right to work. We're going to get rid of the dust, replace the power supply. All we want to do after that is maybe look around for a fan, give him one or two. All right? All right, guys, let's get to work. Hi squad, Andrew at Impress Computers. I'd like to go over a couple different things here just to make sure that your gaming system is optimized and just some real simple topics. Uh, for example, we're gonna go over airflow just to make sure that you have airflow. Some of our gaming computers that have been coming to the shop recently have one exhaust fan, which is okay, but if your airflow is not moving that heat that is inside of your PC, you're gonna turn into an oven that heat is just gonna sit and build and eventually heat up the rest of your components internally. You don't want that. You, We run high-end gaming performance these days. Definitely, you want at minimum three fans. You want two for intake, 
one for exhaust and placement. You can find information for that online. Uh, uh, and what ties into that at the same time is gonna be power and then uh, your dust. If you have a lot of clogged fans, a lot of dust everywhere, all of that can definitely, definitely corrode and stop what you're doing. Uh, your fan will go from working to not. Just some simple alcohol and cleaning. Same thing for laptops and even processors. If you don't have proper thermal paste, all you're gonna do is just heat and heat and heat. Nothing's being conducted. You need conductivity so that you can pull all of that heat off of your chip and those strong high-end parts. Now, once you do have all of that dust cleared out of there, if you have any kind of power issue, you might need to make sure that you're not plugging your top of the line gaming computer into a plug that has 500 extension cords and every single plug plugged in. You wanna have its own secluded plug by itself recommended on a UPS battery backup so that you can keep working on your project. If the lights go out, you're still backed up. You can ha you'll have time just to turn off your machine while your project is safe, safely put away whenever you save it. Now, just keep in mind, uh, your backup, definitely you want to have your computer if you want to make sure that your project work is safe during the lights or the storm. You want to be on that UPS side, not on the surge protector side. Any questions, any help, give us a call 281-647-9977. Have an awesome weekend.